Gary had tasted success even before life at United. Consecutive promotions with Middlesbrough and consistently outstanding performances have brought him to the attention of Alex Ferguson, though his managers, Bruce Rioch and Colin Todd, were always reluctant to let him go. I went to see him play against Rochdale for Middlesbrough. Uh, a typical Rochdale night, peeing down in a weak cup tie and, 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 and I said, this, there's a Hansen. First thing I did say, he was lazy on the training ground, but he always had that ability to, to intercept, to read the game. Uh, to pass for a big man and good pace. You almost went for about four grand as well, didn't you, one stage? I don't know. I know what we got from <laughs> <laughs> It was actually £2.3 million and he became Britain's most expensive footballer. At that time, Alex Ferguson was criticised for paying so much, but he and new partner Steve Bruce were poised to become the best in the business. The day was done on the Sunday. Um, came down by train on the Monday, signed on the Monday and uh, trained on the Tuesday for the first time with the lads and then uh, Wednesday night it was straight into the game so it was, uh, it was all really surreal it, it, it felt like really as though it wasn't really happening because you know one minute I was at Middlesbrough next minute I'm at Old Trafford and uh, playing for the first time in the, uh, in the famous strip sort of thing Oh a strong challenge from behind by Pallister and the new signing has set Lee Sharp away, a chance for Sharp to run at the Norwich defence. Good shot, good save. It's a bit of a stretch as Fleck goes in, but those long legs of Palace to win the challenge. Rain coming down, the ball slipping around. Peter Palace, who's enjoying the space, it's a lovely little chip as well for McClare to have a run. Bruce has a go at him. Pallister wins the tackle. Townsend for Norwich. Chance for them to break out of defence. It's a good ball to Fleck. And Del Gordon has found space in the middle of the United defence. And Gordon has scored for Norwich. The recollection of the first goal was that I was caught between two players. Uh, which really, if I remember, I couldn't do anything about. Yet obviously after the game the critics had a field day and you know I took the blame for that one. Um, then uh, the one I couldn't get away from was the penalty. Um, uh, Rob Rosario, if I remember, just down here, came to the byline and uh, I tried to make a challenge and it was a definite penalty, brought him down. And uh, I'm not sure it was it Robert Fleck put the penalty away or somebody, I think. And uh, I just thought, oh, that's all I need on my debut. And, uh, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest of debuts, and that's probably one of the reasons why I, I tend to push it to the back of my memory. Um, but it, you know, it, it was great to be involved as a, as a Manchester United player, anyway. Big man going forward for Sharp's corner kick. Pallister's header, oh, and that sums up his night. The headlines weren't great, were they? No, no. The easy thing to do um, is to criticise people. Um, I remember somebody saying, like, oh, for that type of fee as a centre-half, he should be scoring 20 goals a season as well. I mean, it's a ridiculous comment, but, you know, I mean, that's the type of thing that, um, that I had to learn to deal with. I think if you look at Pally's debut, it was an absolute nightmare, and he went on to continue that way for about four or five months. So if he wants to deflect a little bit of the blame on me, then I'll, I'll hold my hand up and say, OK, Pally, but I think if he's honest enough to himself, and he's quite an honest geezer, that he'll say that for four months he had an absolute disaster. We got a doing from Norwich that night, and they didn't have a particularly good game. But over the next few weeks, I says, I, I know the, I know what the problem is with Pally, in the sense of how you had to develop some. He had absolutely no muscle. He had no muscle at all. So I set up a program of weight training for him every day. You mean you spent two point three million on skin and bone? <laughs> it's absolutely raw material. Raw material. <laughs> 